ASL Tech Viewers, and uh, today we have my uh, first Apple product since 2010, the Airport Express, to be unboxed and set up with the uh, Homer book in the background there. So yeah, without further ado, let's unbox the Airport Express. Let me, oh, you know what, just need to like, some brush chicken rip. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. I didn't even run over the box because, honestly, oh, here you see the sexy piece of machinery known as the Airport Express. And there it is, sitting nicely on top. Now we're going to take the little thingy off. And wow, is it small. But not quite yet. We're going to unbox it. It's also kind of white, so I'm just going to put it off to the side. Put it over there. Okay, so we're going to open up this little thing designed by Apple in California. So, next, we have a uh, Mac Mini style of power cord, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's this. This is the power cord. Much actually much smaller than the other one. Oh, uh, what's in here? A yeah, setup guide. So I'm just gonna look at this because I have never set up an Apple router before. I've only set up I've set up a D Link and I've set up a Linksys. I've never set up an Apple router. Okay, we're gonna look at eleven. Page eleven. I know it's kinda boring, but still, I think Setting up Airport Express using a Mac, you will need have this, don't have this. I I think I might have it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I set this up though. Yeah, I've plugged it I've plugged in. Well, I'm actually going to go set this up because the actually well first things first. So this is like the setup guide. If you, it's like a small user manual and you have like diagrams and stuff in there. I'm guessing this is 2012 I'm guessing. I'm already running three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna just unwrap this. Oh, plastic. Plastic. So much plastic. How does this go up? Do I have to pull this up? Or do I have to... Okay, there. That comes up out of that case, and if you remove the dust protector, which I obviously can't use it without removing the dust protector for the ports. So yeah, there goes that, and that is quite beautiful Apple packaging. So I'm going to go set this up in the uh, main office where this is uh, currently held. And, um, we are going to come back here with the Homer book and, uh, set this up. So, yeah, see you in, like, uh, for you it'll be, like, a little bit. For me it'll be, like, longer. Okay, bye. Okay, we are here in the Homer book, and, uh, we're going to click the, uh, Wi-Fi symbol. And, uh, set, go to Airport Express here. And it's going to launch Airport Utility. Now, this is Mavericks, not Yosemite. So, this is... Pro so, but I believe the setup is going to be pretty much the same, no matter what thing you use. So, just keep in mind. So, yeah, we're setting up a uh, Airport Express. I have it set up in the other room. So it's just going to load up stuff. And a uh, network name. I'm going to set it as my old network. And my password. 
I'm just gonna call it probably network name. Uh, I'm gonna use the old password. Okay, so that's gonna verify itself. And hopefully we can get up and running. Uh, I mostly bought this to uh, so um, what else? Cycle the power by turning it off for a few minutes, then turning the by then turning it back on. If the device has a battery, you may need to disconnect it to completely reset the device. Some ISPs recommend you unplug the modem's power cord. This is required. So, I might need to go cycle the power, which is just weird, but... Um... Okay, so I now cycle the power on my uh, cable modem which was just simply done by unplugging the power cord and plugging it back in. So now it's making a network on airport utility, which goes really simple in here. So right now it's saying joining home and it's almost done probably. If the uh, range, range might not work. It's kind of my only uh, thing. Let me check here. Alert, no internet connection. That might have happened when I was cycling. Setup complete. Home is now available. Home Airport Express. Airport Express Base Station. Reading settings. Internet. Connection disconnected. This is working. Internet. I will, uh, yeah, this is a Shaw modem. And uh, what else? Home Airport Express. So I'm going to go test my internet connection there that might have when I cycle the power. Hopefully. I'm going to go come back when this is working. KSL of KSL Tech Studios. And after five months after unboxing the Airport Express, I'm back with the full review. This has been one of my favorite routers to this day, and I think it is unmatched for its competition. It's also a great value, starting at only $100, and prices may go up or, up or down depending on which region you are in. It is one of the best routers since I think it is very reliable and provides the best speed and best quality from a Wi-Fi router. One of the downsides is that the LAN port on the back of it is not gigabit, it is only 10100, but that can be solved using a gigabit, switch, or hub. Nella recommend this router to someone who's thinking of purchasing a new router for their small apartment or home. I do not think that this, mi this router would have enough range to provide a full larger sized home with enough Wi-Fi throughout. Though I believe this router is a very good idea if you want to use it as a range extender to provide your airport time capsule or other or airport extreme as to get better speeds throughout the rest of your house. I think that this is one of my favorite routers and I will definitely let everybody know to buy one of these. Thank you and as always peace out.